Good morning, everybody. It is day 22. I have skipped most of this week. I've not been doing too much. Um, the, the most I've done this week really is I went shopping the other day. I did some grocery shopping and made a couple of loaves of sourdough bread. One of those was gifted yesterday to my neighbor. She got that and a little bit of chutney, so she was pleased with that. So hopefully she enjoyed. Hey, yesterday I did a little bit of quilting. That's about it. I haven't really even felt like knitting too much. I haven't even shown you guys my advent project yet. I've done a little bit of knitting on that this week, not too much. A little bit of knitting on socks. I just haven't, I haven't been feeling well. The weather's been hot. I haven't been, as you know, I don't sleep well. So <laughs> I have been feeling awful this week, really not good. I woke up this morning, again, not a good night's sleep. I wake a million times because it's so warm, but I thought I would do some recording today because what I thought I would do is I've got a got my advent still to open today and I also got a parcel. So I thought I could open those today uh, with you. I'm also thinking I might get back into doing a bit more um, sewing today. I have been working on a new project that I haven't shown anybody yet. Um, I haven't put it on Instagram or anything like that. Uh, it is a quilt by Missouri Star Quilt Co. It was designed by Misty and it was the hens and chicks quilt. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It's basically chandash blocks and I've been working on that and the fabric that I am using is just really, really pretty, um, really gorgeous. Like when I finished one of my blocks yesterday, like I literally made Simon look at it. I'm like, oh my God, look how stinking pretty this is. Look at it, look at it, it's so pretty. <laughs> And um, yeah, he finally turned around and had a look and he agreed and he laughed at me. Uh, so I'm probably going to do a little bit more work on that today. Uh, so let's open my bits and pieces and um, then I'll get on with my day. Let's start with my advent. It is quite heavy. Simon had a good old squish of it this morning because I wanted him to feel how heavy this is. Um, I think it's something wooden actually, like sort of shaped like a bobbin maybe. Um, and then there's something else in the back. So let's have a look. Oh, it's not wooden. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? Oh, oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to watch the video on this one because I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. I know, I understand what this is. It is for um, folding my fabrics into bolts, which I didn't even know this was a thing, but they're made of Perspex. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like it's got the Missouri Star Quilt Co logo on it. You can't, I can't move that. There we go. It's got their logo on it there. Um, what do we got? Fabric bolt removable label. So I guess that's for um, labeling the fabric with the collection and the designer or whatever. And then there's companion clips. I'm not entirely sure what a companion clip is, um, but Jenny's been doing little vlogs every morning, opening up the advent gifts. So I guess I will have to watch that and figure out what this is. I'm assuming this might be to hold the fabric on. So you wrap it around and then just clip the clip on it just to keep the end in, I think. That's my best guess anyway. So there's three each of those. So three stickers, three bolts and three clips. So yeah, I can't wait to see that video later today and um, find out what I'm to do with these. Obviously put fabric on them, but, <laughs> but how it all works. So I guess I will see that later. And now I will open up my parcel. It's my little Christmas gift because I got really jealous because I didn't do anything for my birthday this year. I'll stop crinkling while I talk. Um, I didn't do anything for my birthday this year because um, I turned 40 and I didn't have a party or anything like that. So I didn't get any gifts. Um, I think I got one gift card, I think from my godmother. I think that was about the only present I got other than my mother-in-law and her husband taking us out, Simon and I out for a really nice fancy dinner. So that's kind of all I got. I didn't get any presents or anything. And Simon, because he had the party for his birthday, got lots of cards. He got a couple bottles of wine, a bunch of gift cards. He bought himself a joystick yesterday on uh, JB. So he got quite a bit of money and gifts. And <laughs> he also got some gift cards from work. And um, so he's just been getting all the presents, like his Christmas bonus gift cards and um, 
birthday presents and stuff and I got really jealous so I put in a little teeny order and it arrived yesterday so I got this from Cozy Corner Quilt and basically there was a collection of Riley Blake fabric that I really loved it was really beautiful and I couldn't afford the layer cake because the layer cake I think was close to $90 and I couldn't justify spending that but um it's a little gift in here too so what I did was I just got one charm pack because I have been wanting I saw it was on another another quilting shops Instagram and uh, it was fabric source I believe which is another shop that I go to and it was a bear like a bear paw block but it was put into like I'll put a picture over so you can see but I think that's basically a bear paw block and um, I saw that and I thought it was really really pretty and and she's only selling it as a kit um, which was nearly $200 and I'm just not I can't afford that so <laughs> um, I loved this Riley Blake fabric which I'll show you in a minute the charm pack that I got um, and it will be pretty obvious to you that why I like it even though there is one of my not favorite colors in it long term viewers will know exactly what color that is I thought what I would do, because I want to make some wall hangings just to hang off. You probably can't see. It's just in the dark over there. That's my fridge. So my stairs, my new sort of craft setup that I showed you guys on the vlog um, earlier. Me tidying all that up. Because I want to use that as my craft um, background when I do my vlogs. Um, my craft wrap up vlogs. I wanted to make some little wall hangings just to put on the side of the fridge as part of my backdrop. And I thought I could make a mini one of these bear paw um, kind of quilts to hang up there. So that's why I bought just the charm pack. So this is called At First Sight and it's by Riley Blake. I'm not sure who the designer is. Who's the designer? I can't read that. Dane, Dana. No, I can't read it. I'll, I'll um, investigate and put it in the, in the lower third. Um, yeah, so it's called At First Sight and it's just all these florals so I'll turn it around so it does have green in it but they're more of like the tealy kind of blue sagey kind of green that kind of green I don't actually dislike that much I don't like yellow so yellow green I'm just it's completely out but sort of the sagey type of green um I'll try and get it without the shine on it um these sort of sagey tealy kind of greens I'm fine with so um, there's black, there's flowers, there's a lot of pink, uh, so of course um, I just really liked this uh, collection when I first saw it. Like I said, I couldn't justify buying the layer cake, which is what I would normally buy. I would normally, because a layer cake would be four of these, the equivalent of, um, because they're 10 inch squares, this is a five inch square. Uh, but I just got my charm pack and this has got plenty for me to be able to make the bare paw um, wall hanging that I showed you guys so um, yeah I'm excited to to uh, start that because it will be a quick make and um, yeah I just need to figure out what background fabric I will be using for that and then I had a quick squeeze at the clearance section because Cozy Corner Quilts has this really cool uh, clearance section where she sells a half meter of fabric for five dollars and if you're familiar with the price of quilting cottons they can be up to and uh, usually around the 25 to 30 dollar kind of um per meter amount uh yeah so about you know 28 dollars is kind of what you see quite often per meter for quilting cotton so um well like you know for design designer quilting cotton like your motors and your riley blakes and stuff like that so when i saw that it was five dollars for half a meter i'm like okay let's have a look let's have a squiz and see if there's anything good on there and because I just wanted to kind of top up my order a little bit I thought paying $10 shipping for just the charm pack was maybe a little bit you know you kind of want to get value for paying shipping if you understand what I'm saying so I found two fabrics that really took my fancy in the clearance section so this is the first one I'll turn it around that way so you can see more of the design so this one I think there was only a half a meter left of this one so I I bought that. So this is Night and Day by Amy Williamson for Dashwood Studios. You can just see that in there. And then the other one I got a meter of this one. 
So $10 for a metre of fabric, I was pretty pleased with that. So of course, it's pretty obvious, it's florals and um, a lot of pink. Let's have a quick squeeze and see. There's a little gift in. It is a llama bookmark kit, which is so hilarious because last night I've been reading a lot of books from the library and I've just basically been using my hold slip and my checkout slip as my bookmarks. And I was thinking to myself, I really should like make myself a nice bookmark. And turns out this was sitting in its parcel behind me the whole time last night. So I guess I'll be making some llamas and have that as my as my bookmark. So uh, that's pretty, that is really weird. That's like serendipitous or something. That is really cool. All right, well, I'm gonna get on with my day and I guess I will pick up with you guys again when I get on to doing a little bit of quilting. I thought I would just quickly show you what it is that I am working on. I showed you a picture before of the quilt, but these are the pieces that I've done so far. These are the little, little baby ones. These are the little chicks, as the uh, pattern calls them. So you can see the fabric is just so pretty. Greys, pinks, it's got moths on it. So this is my first chick block. I've only done one because obviously I don't want to do them all the same because each layer cake makes four of these. And then these are the full size blocks. So these are just churn dash blocks, as I mentioned. Um, so I've done, I think, nine of these ones. And I'm just going to work on another three because I need to cut more of my background. I actually had to order more. So um, yeah, these are the ones that I've done so far. So I've just prepared all my other pieces. These ones I've just cut into four, my layer cake into four. These were already five inch squares that I pre-cut. And then these ones I've just drawn, as you can see there, a line on the back because I'm gonna sew on either side of that line to make half square triangles. Here's what I got done today. I ran out of five inch squares, which I need for the center because I use them for these bits. I didn't really feel like cutting fabric today. I just wanna do a bit of sewing. So I was able to get the top and bottom of this churn dash and the pink one that I was doing as well. So those two are just partially done. I just have to do the center row. And then I managed to get this full one done. So I'm actually really pleased with how this pattern is coming together. Like it seems to, <laughs> just want to be really kind of perfect like my corners are lining up really nicely this <laughs> project is actually being really satisfying at the moment so that's all the sewing that I did today so I think what I'm going to do now is just sit and watch a bit of YouTube or something on my laptop and do some knitting before Simon comes home so I think it's after three by now so um, I'm going to pack up all of these blocks that I've got lying around and uh, yeah I'll have a bit of a knit <laughs> 